Having poured over blood and soil samples collected from the site of the recent chemical weapons attack, the UN inspectors have reached their verdict. Their report is expected to provide the most detailed assessment yet of what took place on that fateful day, but it won't say who was responsible. That issue may be resolved within the next week, however, when under the terms of an agreement reached between the United States and Russia over the weekend, Syria offers up details of its chemical weapons stockpile. Syria's information minister says his government has already started drawing up a list, and whilst the regime has hailed these diplomatic developments as a victory that averts war, countries such as France, which support the Syrian opposition, are determined to keep up the pressure. We must incorporate the threat of sanctions if the agreement and the outcome of the Security Council's resolution are not acted upon. Therefore, we must ensure that sanctions are a real possibility if the agreements are not honoured. The use of force remains an option, the French president went on to say, a point that was echoed by the US Secretary of State John Kerry during a visit to Israel. The threat of force remains. The threat of force is real, and the Assad regime and all those taking part need to understand that President Obama and the United States are committed to achieve this goal. We cannot have hollow words. The flurry of diplomatic activity will continue for some days yet. Later today, John Kerry will meet his British and French counterparts in Paris to fine-tune a draft UN resolution setting out how Syria's chemical weapons stockpile should be secured and then destroyed. That resolution will then have to be validated by Russia, the Syrian regime's staunchest ally. Russia and China have consistently blocked UN Security Council resolutions sanctioning the Syrian regime. But there appears to be growing support for the new initiative, China's foreign minister lending his weight to the deal during a meeting with his French counterpart on Sunday. Ridding Syria of the weapons that caused so much damage just under a month ago will not be easy. But events have moved quickly in recent days and may be hastened by the publication of the UN Weapons Inspector's report later today. David Willis, BBC News, Washington.